Let's discuss product law. Now, to find the product of two numbers with the same base, you just have to add the exponents. Now, suppose we have here a raised to m and then a raised to n. As you can see, they have the same base. So, you just have to copy the same, the, the same base or the common base, which is a, and then you just have to add the exponent m plus n. So, how are we going to apply that here? Oh, suppose we have here the product of x raised to 3 and x raised to 2. You just have to copy the common base, which is x, and then add the exponents. So, you will have here 3 for this one plus 2. Now, what is 3 plus 2? That's 5. So, your final answer will be x raised to 5. Mm. It's easy, right? Okay, now, suppose we have here this one. You will have here... The product of a, b raised to 4, and then a raised to 2, b raised to 5. Since you have two variables here, we are going to focus first on a. So, for a, we have here a. The exponent of a here is 1, invisible 1. So, you will have here 1 plus the exponent of the second a is 2. And then, focus on b, you will have here b raised to 4, so you will have 4, this one, plus 5. Okay, and then let's simplify. You will have your A, 1 plus 2, that's 3, very good. And then B, 4 plus 5, you have 9. So your final answer will be A raised to 3, B raised to 9. Okay, now how about this one, number 3? We have X raised to 4 multiplied by Y raised to 2. As you can see, the bases of our factors are different. So, we cannot add them. So, we just have to copy. You will have here now x raised to 4, y raised to 2. This will be your final answer because you cannot combine them. Okay, now for number 4, we have here a numerical or we have numerical coefficients. We have negative 2 and 4. Before going to the base of y, we just have to... Uh, get the product first of the numerical coefficients. So, we have negative 2 times 4. That's correct. Negative 8. And then, we just have to add the exponents of our base. So, we have 3 here. And since we have here no exponents, we have 1 as the invisible exponent of this one. So, 3 plus 1. Having that, your final answer will be negative 8. Y raised to 3 plus 1, 4. And that's how our product law works. Okay? Now, for your turn, attach a picture of your solution on the comment section. What is the product of 5X Y raised to 3 and negative 2 X raised to 2 Y raised to 4? I want to see your solution, ha? And don't forget to follow our Facebook page, Love Math TV, and our YouTube channel, Love Math TV. Please like and share this video. Bye!